No. What's up, everybody? This is Alan Wubnorks again with episode two of Comic Invasion Studios. I know I haven't been here for a while, but I want to share this presentation with the world. Okay, let's start here. I ha I had an AVM in June of 93. For the people that don't know what the AVM is, it stands for Arterial Venal Malformation, which is a fancy word for saying I had a messed up pain in my head, that deformed pain that um, burst under a lot of distress. So, at, once I woke up and got out of the hospital, I was forced to face what I call the ten dark years. The ten dark years are, are the eight dark years, sorry. Um, is my middle school and high school experience. Everyone you all know judges in that age and everyone wants to be cool. So I didn't really fit in. I knew my speech was bad, so I didn't talk that much. Um, what else? I couldn't eat good. Couldn't hear that much. I had to get a special uh, like microphone for an English class I took. And I still have poor balance. And I can go on and on, but I don't want to bore you. Whoops. I skipped one. Okay, like I said, this was the middle and high school experience. Uh, so it was uh, bad. For anyone that wants to know, I went to Benita Middle School and Eastlake High School. That's in San Diego, Benita and Chula Vista. So after that experience, I decided to continue my education. I was almost not gonna continue my education because of all the negative experiences I had. But when I went to junior college, I was really glad I did because I didn't have an attendant. I could do what I wanted to do. And uh, I was able to rediscover my talents. So I took a creative writing class. The creative writing class was a big help because in eighth grade I was on the newspaper staff, which totally messed up my writing um, ability. I, I had to write facts, and for me, I'm all about creative writing. This was the time I saw Batman Forever, and I dared myself to write something better. So I did just that, and with my rush, I actually got mad at my mom, sent it to Warner Brothers Studios, and they actually liked it, but because I was only 15 at the time, I was scared, threw that letter away, and just went on with life. So I got my AA degree, and um, at the very end, I realized I wouldn't graduate on time if I didn't be an undergraduate major, but I did emphasize in telemedia. I, I, had, I changed my major five times, and that's crazy unheard of, but I could explore myself. I thought about engineering, too much math, 
so I did political science too serious. I, tr I then changed it to music and my friend said you don't make enough money if you don't play instruments so I changed into Telemedia and I did that for a couple of years. Really loved the experience. But when I went to the CSU to get my bachelor's degree, I tried for what's called television, film, and new media two times, but that's the limit. Um, I, I, I was sad, but after like a minute or two, I knew hey, I'll just take the back door. So I was a communication major and I got my degree in communication and minored in TFM. So um, I've learned that disability adaptations are expensive. And so that's why I continued to the CSU. Uh, oops. Uh, I, um, shoot, I, I, I went to the CSU because a junior college teacher said if you don't get anything above an AA, you make about half of what a PA gets. So I went for that reason, and I also went to prove people wrong. I always felt my family was very negative about what I could do, so I wanted to show them. So they bring me to when I went to Little Fish Comic Book Studios in Ocean Beach, in San Diego, of course. They taught me to um, to write for comic books, so I made 16 graphic novels. I treated it like a job for almost four years. But then when I realized nothing was happening for what they were promising me, I went, why am I wasting my time and so now I'm signed with a company called Best Trailer of Fantasy Games. Uh, they're very small, but I hope they become bigger. And I hope they get enough funding to be able to pay for the art of my graphic novels. So, like I said, I'm a graphic novel writer and I'm really proud to have written 16 graphic novels. It took probably a good five years after I uh, left Little Fish. I wrote three more graphic novels, but now I'm uh, fo focusing on promotion. That's kind of why I'm making this video. So after Little Fish, I went to Op Option for All of Film School for two years. Yeah, more education. But by doing this, I did what I was originally going to school for. So I learned many different techniques of film. The director was Joey Travolta, John's brother. He was a, a special ed teacher. So everyone in that class was disabled in some way. So we really felt like we were one. Um, so this brings me to Fields and Flyer audience. One of my things I've been writing, my movies, my graphic novels, my shows that I've written are um, about this character called Fearsome Plier that I actually 
started thinking of in eighth grade. It was on the back burner so I could focus on getting my degree at SDSU. And once I was out of there, I was able to study and do what I wanted to do. So, this brings me to Legion M. It's a Legion M original series. This is going to be a, a trailer by my editor of the six scenes I shot. Lost the material. Fortunately, it's on my, um, a little bit is on my, um, demo reel. It's the first entertainment, um, fan-owned entertainment company. You can go to legionab.com. So, this is also an association with including films. That's what Joey Travolta runs. There's five programs, or six, out there in the nation, so I thought it was pretty important to add to my presentation. So now we have a streaming channel for everything we did in the class, and eventually it's going to have my three seasons that I wrote for Fish and Flyer Origins which is kind of a Smallville feel, everything before it was Pierce and Fire. So this pinged me to my website. Uh, a long time ago, I was publishing everything on MySpace. Tons of musicians that write for movies were contacting me, but one stood out from the rest. They were giving me a bunch of pre songs. They even wrote me a Fierce and Fire theme song. And um, the Collegian Drake sent from Australia. And um, I'm really glad that they were moved and impacted by what I wrote. And that's kind of why I'm continuing to do what I do. So this is the cover of a self-paid comic book that I did, that I, yeah, I paid for from a guy in New York. Yes, it was a lot of money, but um, I thought it was something to show that I'm serious about what I do. So um, that's why this was made. So, I mentioned earlier, I'm signed with Medstrella of Fantasy Games. Their website is here, and I suggest you go to the website and see what they're doing. So, who are the greats I needed? We've all heard about the new 52, and, um, so now it's time to talk about the Great Symphony 8. These are my characters. And um, 78 characters I created. Um, one, is, uh, for instance, is Kronos. Kronos is a Greek god. And I believe in the future he could fight Thanos. We all know Thanos from Marvel. But who knows if Marvel wants to work with me. So um, I'm reaching out to you guys too. Uh, my pen name is Al Holt because um, I have always wanted it to sound like Stan Lee. Um, Stan Lee is, has really made me who I am. And I told him that when he was on Twitter. I hope you read it before it died. And so these are my movies I've written so far. There's some Firewine used to be two smaller scripts, but someone suggested 
put the two together, so it shows Fears of Fire's first fight with the Dr. Psycho. My goal was to write a trilogy, and so that was two, three, and four. Wing of things I wrote it because I took a advanced class in SDSU on script writing and the final was to write only half of a script, but I can't stop at half, so I wrote the complete story of Wig and Things. This brings me to the novel I wrote. I was challenged by a caregiver of mine uh, whose name slips me at the moment of uh, writing something more than graphic novels. He said he would pick it up before he picked up the graphic novels. So I attempted this and I hope you can read it, read it someday. So this, um, this uh, the building is a building I've always had my eyes on. At the top of it, that is where my options for all class was. So I, I had my eye on it. I like to put two theaters in the front. Then I like to have recording studios for either music or voiceovers. Then in the back, I like a prop room to store props there. Also, an animation studio for either movies or comics. Also in the back lot, I like to park. Uh, Mac trucks, trailers, RVs, whatever, so we can film on location. So, what is QMX now? QMX is my take on, we've all heard of BMX bike. QMX, I thought about it, the unicycle is one wheel, bicycle is two wheels, and a tricycle. Oh, three wheels. So what is a quadricycle? A four-wheel bike that I, I want to um, get mass produced and pay for all this, maybe. It will all begin. It will all begin when this is made. This is a theme park. It's called Comic Invasion Nation. It is a little different than the theme park, which um, in New Farm is a theme park, which has off-road racetrack. The next step, to, this is the next step to virtual reality. It, it's more of an alternate reality. Uh, and which is where the the s s small city is, the mini city hotels in the middle of the racetrack, which will not have casinos. I'll touch upon that later. There are Kilmex basketball courts, which is it's inspired by the courts used on Hook. Um, yeah, so it would also have the year round balls, bobsled races. Possibly it could have uh, a water park too. Who knows? So I went to Laughlin recently to scope it out. This is actually where I want to put the park, but. I don't know if I can, and that's why I'm also making this video. I'm looking for investors. I'm looking for people in Laughlin um, showing interest. This is what it would look like on the outside. Are more casinos, hotels, 
and on the inside where the colored boxes are, are just casino, are just hotels for families that want their kids to stay away from casinos. So I guess that concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching. How do you turn this off? I got you. Where's your mouse? Thank you, dude. Mm -hmm.